This is indeed the story of a man in his truck. Nick Sissa, who lives in Houston now, bought a two and a half ton payload military truck for $6,000 at auction last year. When Hurricane Harvey struck his part of town, he felt lucky. I felt like that we were okay in the fact that our house was not going to flood. I had never seen water that high. Nick jumped in that truck, leaving wife and baby behind. His only instinct to help. I didn't want to do anything too crazy because I had never been in the situation before. Somehow he found a way across the bayou turned raging river. For three days, he discovered and rescued desperate people. The power is off. Their plumbing doesn't work. The water, some of them are in one story houses. So, you know, if they don't get out, you know, they got nowhere to go. You know, some people were cutting holes in the roof to climb out of their house. Nick didn't stop. Working alongside Houston first responders, his truck, now nicknamed Bama One, reached down deep and pulled dozens to safety. We, we estimated it was about 300. His heroism has garnered national attention and praise from family members who just a few months ago thought the military truck was a silly idea. I told my mother-in-law, I said, I told everybody, I said, you know, one day we're going to need this truck. I said, hey, Houston's been known to flood, and, and now everybody has gotten off my back. A man in his truck. Sissa says he and Bama One are ready to help if needed again. Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13. Sissa, who has many relatives in the Birmingham area, says when the giant trunk is repaired, he'd like to send Bama One to wherever the next storm makes landfall.